Hey, what's up everybody? Oh, I just spooked my dog. Sorry. Um, all right, so today I thought I'd show you how to debug your Jest tests using uh, Chrome Developer Tools. So there are actually a couple ways that you can debug uh, Jest. So you place a debugger statement wherever you want. So let's say we wanted, uh, I don't know, debugger right here. Um, and we'll just save that, just to keep it in there. And then it says that you can run um, these two things either on Windows or on um, on Mac and follow some instructions. This is actually what we're going to do, something similar to this. You can also uh, debug straight in VS Code, um, but I've never done this and personally I really like just doing everything um, in the browser. I don't know. Um, so we're, we're going to do it the first way, but if you want to you can figure out how to make it work in VS Code, and I'm sure it's great. Uh, same thing with, with WebStorm. You have a way to, to debug with WebStorm. Um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of a stuff. Okay, so let's figure out how to get this to work. So we want to, like, uh, we want to debug this and, and um, be able to step through our code for one reason or another. Things are broken. Who knows what's going on? So um, normally we'd run our tests using the test script here that we have right here. It's running Jest. Um, if you're using React scripts, I'm actually not sure. I, I'm sure it's possible. In fact, I know it's possible. I'll show you something later uh, to, to show you that it's possible to debug Jest in React as well, um, but uh, or in React scripts. Um, but yeah, for us, we're just going to do it this simpler way, and I'll talk about the other way later. So uh, we do need to use node so we can use the inspect BRA break um, flag. And then from here on out, it's um, like a regular node script. And so we're going to go node modules bin jest. Now that node modules bin jest is actually um, pointing to a file. It's a sim link. That's, and by the way, this is also going to be different on Windows, which is why they have two different commands. But it's pointing to a file in jest bin Jest. So we could do it either way. This would actually work on Windows and on um, on uh, your Mac as well. Um, and so with with this, we're going to do dash dash run in band. And the reason that we're doing that is because normally Jest will uh, take all of your tests and spawn separate processes for each of those. And with node inspect break, it um, can't see into those processes, so you can't debug. Um, in those processes. This other thing that I'm going to show you sort of can, but I tried it and it like is all messed up anyway. So you want to run in band. Um, and then also we're going to turn on watch mode so that we can rerun and, and debug to our heart's content. So um, let's run that and it's going to say debugger listening on this weird thing for help see this. And so you can go check that out or you can just watch me. So there are a couple ways that we can connect to this. You can go to Chrome inspect and it'll show that I have a node process running that I can inspect I can click that um, in recent versions of Chrome though it also has this fancy little icon that appears in your dev tools that'll open a dedicated dev tools for node so I'll click on that instead and that pops open a dedicated dev tools for node um, and once that happens, then it says debugger attached and it'll break right here, um, which is pretty neat. So then we'll, um, I'll just play through and it's going to go through and run my tests just like normal, determine which test to run and everything. And because I have a debugger statement here, um, then it will uh, break there eventually. Come on. Here we go. Debugger pause. Ta -da. Normally it's not that slow. It's only that slow if you're live streaming. Um, so uh, we got our debugger and now we can step through here. I can uh, dive into this function call and I can see, oh my, this has clearly been transpiled. Um, and so we'll move along through here. Here I'll right click um, and continue to here. And then I can dive in there and let's see we'll continue to here 
I'll dive in there. Okay, get all by label text. Okay, cool. And then we'll, um, yeah, yada, yada, yada. So on and so forth. So then we can jump out and jump out and out. And we're back here. Cool, fun stuff. So anyway, that's that's pretty much it. Like from here, it's pretty similar to your normal uh, debugging experience. Uh, you can right click here and reveal in sidebar and that'll take you where uh, that file is. This is source mapped, um, which if you're using Jest, you're probably gonna have source maps here unless you're not using Babel or TypeScript or something. But yeah, so we're, we're debugging right in our source map files. Um, you can look in other known modules and put breakpoints. I, I really like putting conditional breakpoints um, in my third party um, code and stuff. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm gonna dive into React code um, in this experience, but uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, if we go ahead and play through, then it's gonna run all of our tests, um, which I guess it's gonna take a second because, oh, because we're, oh uh, yeah, I have breakpoints. I was testing some stuff out in React Dom. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, um, and then I can hit enter again and it'll rerun, it'll recatch on my debugger and I can keep doing this over and over again until I'm happy with where I'm at. So um, yeah, just all that needs to be done here. I'll just close this out. Oh, uh, close that. So all that needs to be done is you run node with inspect break and then you uh, reference the file that you wanna have run which for us is just the Jest binary that we run normally. If we run normal tests, we're gonna run Jest. This is the file that's being run in that case. Then we'll use the run in band and watch flags just to make the experience great. So um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention M or NDB. This is a new thing from Chrome um, that is pretty cool. It, um, um, yeah, it installs P Puppeteer and uh, Chromium, which is really big. But you install it globally, and then you can um, just run mbd or db debug, yeah, mdb, not database, but debug, um, and then you can actually run no or like node some script, and it'll debug that script, or even npm run test, and it'll um, it our do our tests or um, whatever, or if you just run it in a um, project that has a package JSON, then it will pop open um, this, which incidentally, it started in dark, dark mode, which I thought was interesting. I like light mode, I don't know. So I had to change it. But uh, yeah, then it's like, hey, welcome to the MDB REPL, and you can require FS and all node things in here, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then on the left here, you have your NPM scripts, and so we could run test. Like I said, um, running Jest without the run and band, even in here, is kind of weird. So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but you can, if you click on pause at start, then you run, um, I don't know, start. Um, that'll start, like run npm run start, and it'll pause at the very first line that's executed um, in every, uh, process that's ex executed. So we run um, npm run start and whatever script that runs, the first um, line that it can break on there, it will. And so this is the first line when you run React scripts. Kind of fun. You can see what React scripts is doing. And then you can also, um, we'll hit play on through and React scripts actually starts up um, another process that uh, starts this new file. So it this is like an exec sync or something like that that it's doing. And so this part is actually not possible with um, node inspect break. When um, with node inspect break, if you start and spawn another process, it won't catch um, on that first line of that process. So that's where MD NDB is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, this is the start script. And you can see what's going on in the start script. I'll hit play again. And it uh, does a whole bunch of stuff with Webpack and, and fancy stuff. And then it starts um, a worker. Oh, I had a debugger. Oops, a uh, breakpoint there. Go in. 
Uh, so yeah, it'll pop up my browser if you're familiar with um, uh, with React scripts. And then it starts a worker process. And I think this is coming from Webpack. Unfortunately, in NDB, if you do um, reveal in sidebar, it won't reveal that unless it's in your project. So it won't. if it's in your node modules, it's not going to pop, which I find to be kind of frustrating because I'm not sure where this file is. Um, you could find like a string, um, like code comments can be helpful sometimes. And, um, or yeah, here we go. Then you could copy that and like grep for that in your node model or something and find out where this file is. But yeah, so I, I think NDB has a little bit of work, but for the most part, it seems pretty cool. It'd be something to look into um, for sure, especially if you're like spawning multiple things. Um, from here, it gets really like nutso because they spawn like a million of these worker files, and um, I don't even know what's going on. I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a Webpack thing because there was that loader runner thing. Guessing it or other. So yeah, I hope that's helpful to you. Um, debugging your tests or your node scripts at all um, is really helpful. And uh, yeah, hey there, Jeff. I'll see you next week also at React Rally, I presume, unless there's something else that I am unaware of. <laughs> but uh, yeah, cool. I'm gonna sign out and I'll see you all later. Bye.